Well, it's been a nippy and breezy last day of August. Keep in mind that it's also the final day of meteorological summer, but it's not feeling like summer throughout the sunrise side. Feeling more like autumn with these temperatures upper 50s to low 60s. 61 degrees at this moment in Alpena and Atlanta. 65 in Tawas. Cool spot is Roger City at 58 degrees. Winds now coming out of the north compared to yesterday. The cold front has slid through. Winds up to 14 miles per hour in Alpena. A bit lighter in Oscoda at 8 miles per hour. Going inland at 12 in Mayo. But in the last 24 hours, Northeast Michigan has seen the biggest decrease in that thermometer. 16 degrees cooler in Alpena than it was at this time yesterday. 12 in Oscoda. And we're in for a cold night. But when it comes to those dew points, that's pretty much has been the brightest spot of over the last 24 hours. If you remember throughout the first half of the work week, dew points were in those 60s. It was muggy. It was sticky. Now we're into those 40s, 42 degrees in Atlanta, 47 in West Branch, 45 in Harrisville. So it feels just right when it comes to walking outside. High pressure in control over Lake Superior, and that's pretty much keeping us with beautiful weather throughout the sunrise side. We have seen a bit of cloudiness throughout the day, but it's all on the decrease, and that's going to set up for a frigid night throughout the area. So keep that in mind. We're actually under a frost advisory tonight, so make sure to protect those plants and also bring the pets in. So when it comes to that, so that's because of the fact that we're going to have clear skies, calm winds, and also little clouds, but also dry air. So when you have all those ingredients, it's called radiational cooling. That's going to allow all the heat from the afternoon to escape back into space. And that mercury really takes a big tumble. So high pressure will be right over us by tomorrow night. So we're still going to be dealing with the risk of frost once again. So keep that in mind during the nighttime hours, especially for those farmers. It really won't be until Saturday we get a surge of warm air as temperatures get back in the afternoon into those 70s. And then eventually morning lows get back into those 50s. Now, Sometime late Saturday night into early Sunday, there is a small chance of a shower to pass through. More than anything, we'll just get a bit of cloudiness coming in on Saturday night. Better chances of rain will actually occur on Labor Day Monday. Sunday, though, temperatures continue to warm up into those mid to upper 70s. So good news, though, when it comes to this cool air, it's only going to stick around for about a good 36 hours. But after that, we'll start seeing some noticeable changes, not just in the warmth, but in the cloud cover and then eventually some chances of rain. Now, when it comes to beach and boating, you may want to hold it off until Saturday just because of those temperatures. Now, if you are going to take take a dare on Friday, temperatures overall are going to be in the low 60s. Those winds out of the east at 5 to 10 knots. Beautiful, though, good amount of sunshine. Remember that sunscreen waves up to three feet pushing into Saturday. We'll see those waves at less than two feet. Water temperature at 66 degrees. Now, when it comes to that advisory, frost advisory in effect throughout the entire sunrise site starts at midnight tonight until 9 a.m. As temperatures inland could actually drop into those upper 20s. So just make sure to bundle up tomorrow morning. Here's the hour by hour for the night, just falling temperatures. It's going to be beautiful, though. Stargazers delight, but just make sure to have that sweater weather out for tonight and even into tomorrow night as well. 41 degrees, clear skies. Enjoy that sunshine. And then throughout Labor Day weekend, temperatures warming. Then a cold front comes in on Monday and will fall back to similar pattern that we're seeing right now for the middle and latter portion of next week.